Hello, this is Sean with Blade Mate Lawn Care. Just have a little bit of pre-work maintenance to do on one of my machines before we get started today. So I thought I'd share that with you this time. Now it's nothing too extravagant. I'm just gonna get all this crap off from underneath and give the blades a sharpen. And that's all there is to it. In case anyone's wondering, yes, I have disconnected the spark plug. It's not going to start on me. I usually do this with the machines that I use on a weekly basis. Now, the beauty of having these swing blades is that it's not really necessary to balance them. That's what the cutting is does. And for anyone who hasn't seen swing blades, um, this is the reason why I'm happy to take my machines through such gnarly uh, shrubs and I don't care if we hit sticks and that because what happens, it, um, they literally go that way, they swing. I can't do it with my hands right now but uh, they, got, they have movement in them and the, this will get caught back here and then obviously with the the spinning it'll straighten itself back out almost instantly but what that does it stops the crankshaft getting destroyed if you hit something hard like a big rock or a submerged object That'll do. So the background to this one, this was from a viewer of my channel in the region. Uh, she reached out to me. Now, some people are just awesome, just the best. You know, this client, she's one of those. Just noting that I get paid by YouTube whenever, you know, when I put videos up and if people watch it. One of my ethics for my business is if it's not part of my, you know, how I do the charity type ones, uh, for some people who don't have the means to do it themselves it was just a regular client that wants the work done and and it looks like a yard that i think would be suitable for my channel i often offer them a discount or sometimes i'll offer to do it for nothing uh, such was the case with this job like i said it's just an ethics thing noting that i'm getting paid anyway so i, I kind of feel bad taking people's money however in saying that awesome clients like this one insist on paying me regardless so, you know, it was a big win there, and yeah, I was pretty pleased with the results. As you can see, it's a bit of a clover field. Now, one of my big concerns was the bees. You know, we all love bees, they're so good for the environment, but look, at the end of the day, if it wasn't me who mowed this lawn, it would be someone else. If it makes you feel better about the cutting down of all this clover, which the bees love, in my yard at home, my lovely wife has built a pretty wonderful bee friendly garden in the front yard and the backyard they kind of offset any damage I do on the job to bee habitats now I chose to use my side discharge mower for this one instead of catching it like I often do now the reason for that is just to try and put a little bit of nitrogen back into the ground as lack of nitrogen is sometimes what can cause clover to grow on mass and now look it's not going to it's, it, the clover will grow back but it's I guess it's better than not doing that and the grass did mulch up pretty well and it left a pretty good finish at the end of the day so I was happy to do it this way this time also make sure you stick around to the end of the video because right before the reveal I'll have a sneak peek of a job I'm doing next week so anyone who's been keeping up with the channel knows that I've recently engaged with an organization that deals with uh, vulnerable people in the community and I've offered them my services uh, noting that YouTube and Patreon pay me 
so that I can go and work for free for some people who couldn't otherwise afford to get work done. And so I've got another one of those jobs that this organisation has put me in touch with, one of their clients. And yeah, I'll be going out there early next week to get that one done. So like I said, stick around to the end to get a sneak peek of that yard. All right, guys, enjoy. Another question I had was, why do I walk backwards when I'm trimming instead of walking forwards? And what are the advantages? So just you're going to have to watch this next bit. When I go that way, um, the trimmer head's spinning that way, which means everything kind of gets thrown that way, which is behind me. If I were to go forward into that, the trim is still spinning anti-clockwise, but it'll kind of, I don't know, the forces of me going that way and the trimmer head going that way, it means that the debris doesn't get tossed away. It kind of just gets stuck in the edge there. I'll show you what I mean. See how if you look there, you'll notice very little debris in the area that I've just gone. Now watch this. And see how a lot of this crap just kind of got stuck there. You know? Was over there, it's like the smallest amount, and that was really just because it was super long. Most of it goes that way behind me before I'm going. Uh, also, I found that when walking forward, just the actual angle of the trimmer head, um, it's a little bit more difficult to control, and I find myself digging into the ground more often than I would going backwards. <laughs>
Alrighty, so we've done the entire perimeter of the entire yard, all the way around the other side, and, you know, looping back around and back down here. I'm gonna blow afterwards because I'm gonna side discharge this, so I'll make a mess anyway. And yeah, I'll just kind of blow it on the lawn and then go back over it. Alrighty, let's go. So obviously I'm far from finished, but I am going to go and do the other side of the house on the other side there um, before coming back. You know, everyone who's ever mowed clover before knows that it's quite wet and pretty sticky. So we had to clear that out from under my mower just before. So you now I'll give this kind of 10 or 15 minutes just to breathe and dry out a little bit and it'll mulch much easier.
Alrighty, well I'm going to go a little bit shorter on this cut, only just uh, one notch down. Presently it's on its highest setting, so yeah, that should get through kind of this stuff that's been pushed over. See how it's lying that way? The whole yard's full of that. That mulched up pretty easily, but still a bit damp. I'm just gonna give a quick blow dry, and the sun will also be getting it concurrently, and then I'll go give it one more cut, and that'll do.